525 HE3 trimmer with the articulating head. Now that I've had it for four months, put about 30 hours on it, I'll tell you even more about it. Probably sure that you can't see this, but I've got some stuff right here that info about it. The first thing I'm gonna say, it's got this great heat shield. Do you see this, this heat shield? All right, how many times have you been doing this right here? And hit your hand on that motor head. I mean your elbow on the motor head. So having an extra protection heat shield. All right, uh, this gearbox, I'm sure that there's some technical specs about this, but basically this gearbox is super. I mean, look at this thing. I'm gonna do a little up close. Look at this. Oh, buddy. Look, heavy duty, heavy duty there. Okay, so the handle, if you can see this handle right here, I know a lot of them have this, but when coming, like if you're up on a ladder and you're trying to actually uh, hand this down to somebody, like having this to be able to hold down, like hand down to somebody while you're on the ladder, and also the person down at the bottom who's receiving it can actually grab hold of this instead of grabbing back here where the muffler may be, um, a lot of them have this muffler exposed and you can grab it. Next. What if I put your finger right in there as someone's handing it back down to you off the ladder? So really important to have that extra grip right there. I'm not, sh I don't know any other company that makes that on a trimmer. So that's that. Uh, this anti-vibration handle, let me show you real quick. This anti-vibration handle, do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? What other company has an anti-vibration handle? Huh? On all their equipment. Uh, MCC. I don't even know what that means. I've got this written down, MCC. Uh, oh, let's go to all the internal wires. If you look, all the wires for the throttle cable as well as the fuel line pick pickups, they are all internal. So say you're trimming around a bunch of other bushes and you rub the back of that trimmer head up against some holly bushes and the fuel lines are exposed, guess what? Those fuel lines are going to come out. So why would you have them exposed? Uh, good work, Husqvarna. <laughs> uh, let's go on to oh, the trigger. Check this trigger out. Watch this. Watch this. Can you see this? Let's do this live time here. Look. Look at that trigger. Did you see that? Did you see that right there? Did you see that? Oh my gosh, look. You cannot break that trigger right there. Uh, the X-Torque engine. Um, very fuel efficient and lots of low end torque. All right, uh, on this 525. Uh, does it show it? No, it right here. It's got the marking here. But this 525 uh, engine, I really like it. I've got it on the engine, the weed eaters, the tremors. Uh, this model has 25.4 cc's, which a lot of, uh, that's a good range, like 25, 26, 27, 28. I know steels have some 30s, but to be honest, the power to weight ratio on most of these machines is, is really good. I mean, the blade length, 24 inch blade length, um, and then you know it's got this the transport mode, which you can collapse down and carry. Uh, it's got 1.34 horsepower and 17.25 fluid ounces. So overall. I would say if I had to give this trimmer a score, one to 10, being 10 the best and one the worst, I would say it's like in that eight or a nine category. Uh, I don't think I've had any better trimmers than these. Uh, I've used steels, I've used echoes, but uh, this Husqvarna seems to be like it is. It just now they make another version of this which actually extends out, um, and then also they make a little short handheld versions of uh, these, which we'll probably add to the lineup. Uh, but it's also got the grease zerk fitting here, zerk fitting, uh, we can grease it up. Um, you're supposed to do it every 20 hours. Overall, this is a great trimmer. I mean, if you like Husqvarna, this is definitely to go with. I mean, 
I don't know any other companies that's putting heat shields and shields at the back of their thing up. That's what that MCC was for. The magnesium crankcase, an indestructible magnesium crankcase. Did you hear that? An indestructible magnesium crankcase. What other company is putting magnesium on their products? Kogoha's Warna, all right? 